Hey all you cool cats and kittens. Today I want to share with you a very valuable technique that you can use uh, when you're doing your full arch restorations with CEREC. The key to any predictable outcome, uh, whether it's a six unit anterior case, four unit anterior case, or, or full arch, is, uh, is proper references. Proper references are going to allow you to achieve predictable results. Um, what do you mean by proper references? Well, uh, pre-op photos, um, you know, of the patient smiling, portrait photo of the patient smiling. If you're curious to know a good um, set of photos to send to your lab or your designer or just for yourself uh, when you're doing these cases, you can check out my website, www.westonhatcherdesign.com. Uh, on there, on the workflow page, uh, I have a short little list of photos that I use to um, design my cases and, and the references that I use to design my cases. Um, but you're going to want photos and you're going to want scans. Now, pre-op scans. Uh, those scans are going to go in the biocopy folder. In the biocopy folder. Uh, and that way when you're designing your, uh, your restorations, you can superimpose uh, that, that biocopy scan and have a good idea of, of where the teeth used to be. Now! The key to, to, to doing this the right way is making sure that that biocopy scan correlates properly with the prep scan. Now, say we're doing a full arch case and all the teeth are prepped in the, in the upper jaw folder, let's say. All the teeth are prepped. And then in your biocopy folder, um, None of the teeth are prepped. The software is going to have a difficult time correlating the, uh, those two scans because there's no um, data points that really correspond with one another. Because that software is using the, the, the teeth, say, to, to mesh. Hmm. I, think that, I think that you guys get what I'm saying. Um, but anyways, yeah, with, with all the teeth prepped, and then in your biocopy folder, none of the teeth prep, the software's gonna have a difficult time correlating that. Now, um, typically what you would have to do is manually correlate that. Now, what I do predict is CEREC, um, in, in future versions of the software and updated versions of the software, th that, that um, feature is gonna become more intuitive and it will be able to use other references like the palette and, and you know other things to, to correlate those two. But for the time being, um, when you're using CEREC, you would have to typically manually correlate um, your biocopy scan with your prep scan if it's full arch. So, ooh, check out my leg lamp. It's pretty cool. It's from the Christmas story. I bought it. I had to have it, and I love it. But uh, anyways, where was I? So what's the, what's the remedy for this? Well, yeah, you can, you can um, manually correlate. Or, and this is the technique that I'm going to show you. I didn't come up with this. Uh, a client of mine, um, I designed his cases. Uh, he he recommended this technique, or he said that he's used it before, and and he likes it. Um, now this technique is going to allow you to to do a full arch case, have your biocopy scan, but also have the software automatically correlate that biocopy scan with your prep scan, even though there's no um, you know, data points that really correspond with one another. Well, I guess what he's doing is he's, he's creating data points to correspond with one another. So this is the, this is the, uh, yeah, this is the biocopy scan right here. So what he did for his biocopy scan, and, and in this case, um, he used the temps as the reference. So if, if, if say you want to put the, uh, the uh, a scan of the temps in the, in the in the biocopy folder patient likes the temps they approve the temps blah 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 um, you can put that in the biocopy folder but just make sure that your photos correspond with whatever's in the biocopy folder so you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to put a scan of the temps in the biocopy folder and then send photos of the patient pre-op because those wouldn't correspond and those those references would become irrelevant because it, it, well they're they're not proper references so anyways um, yeah, you'd be it'd kind of be as if you had nothing because but in this case, um, patient approved of the temps, patient liked the temps, liked the shape, liked the length, all of the above. So he said copy that. 
But his his remedy to get the the software to automatically correlate this was he prepped, um, as you can see, uh, to the posterior teeth before taking that biocopy scan. So obviously the most important thing um, is going to be getting the anteriors right. Uh, and then the rest can follow. So he left the anteriors uh, in the biocopy scan and he just used some posterior preps um, to, he, he included those in the biocopy scan so that they could correlate with that arch that was fully prepped. Now, as you can see, there are two teeth that are unprepped, but I think you guys get the point. For this case, um, even even if there are two teeth in the arch that are unprepped, even still the software has a hard time correlating that. Um, and you would, would typically have to still uh, manually correlate that. And what you're gonna do is just click on a data point um, and then click on the data and it's just tedious and and it's not as it's not as uh, accurate the correlation isn't as accurate when you manually correlate um, you can usually get it pretty pretty dialed in but it's not a hundred percent meshed um, hundred percent accurate but yeah anyways um, I'll, I'll cut right to right to it uh, he he prepped uh, two of the posterior teeth and then when it came time to for the computer to correlate the biocopy scan with the upper jaw scan, you could see um, it had these two posterior teeth preps in common with one another. So it was able to do that automatically. It's pretty, it, this is a very efficient technique and it's also very valuable. Um, I don't know why I haven't thought of it previously, but he brought it to my attention. And um, you know, anytime I'm doing a case like this with one of my clients, um, I, I do recommend this technique or at least um, make them aware of it because it can be very useful. So anyways, just real quick, I'll show you guys how this case turned out. So patient liked the shape of the temps, length, like I said, all of the above. Um, it was a little bit canted, just a little bit weak and it, but, uh, but we corrected that. So these are, this is the design for this case. I love it. And this, this client of mine said that he really likes the ovoid shape in the tooth library, in the Seric tooth library. So we selected ovoid. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's right in here in the adjust morphology phase, you can select a certain tooth library and run with that. He likes that shape. So we went with it and it did kind of, it, it, it did um, resemble these, these temps pretty well. So yeah, we went with that and you could see um, we're spot on. This, this design turned out beautiful, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you liked the video. I, I hope that you got something out of it, honestly. Um, I wouldn't make this video if I didn't think that you could get something out of it. If I didn't explain this all that well, feel free to reach out to me and um, I could help clarify anything that you may be confused about. But yeah, I mean, this is valuable, folks. And if, if you can grasp the concept, you can really... You can really run with it and uh, and utilize it um, for these types of cases. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I've recently found out uh, if you like the video, it really helps me out. Now, how does it help me out? It helps me out by basically, I guess, the YouTube algorithms promote your videos or put your videos at the top of the page or whatever. I want that exposure and I'm putting out this information all the time. So um, by helping me out, we can help out others because then they'll see my videos and they'll learn more about Sarek and, and InLab and designing teeth and a bunch of other wacky stuff. They could check out my, my new leg lamp. Anyways, like the video, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.